Brigadier Sir Miles Hunt Davis Obituary, 1938-2018, The Duke's Fantastic Man Friday. He was a fantastic man to work for. We just got on with the job. One of his most memorable visits was to northern Siberia where he stayed with the Duke in a wooden house on the beach. Sharing his private secretary duties with his predecessor Sir Brian McGraw, Hunt Davis stated a job involved overseeing all of the Duke's official duties, looking after finances and sitting as one of three civilians on the prestigious Way Ahead group which the Queen chairs to discuss royal activities and promote the monarchy's image. He also accompanied the prince on many state visits to countries including France, Russia and Pakistan and was ever present when Philip toured the globe in his role as international president of the World Wildlife Fund. In 2007 he had the unenviable task of having to give evidence at the High Court to the inquest into the death of Diana, Princess of Wales. Under intense cross-questioning from Michael Mansfield QC on behalf of the Fade family, a lesser man may have become flustered and lost his composure. But Hunt Davis kept his cool throughout and refuted the accusations, which included that Prince Philip had been responsible for plotting Diana's death, one by one, with his dignity firmly intact. Born in Johannesburg, South Africa, he was the son of Eric Hunt Davis, a lieutenant colonel who had fought with the Australian Army in Gallipoli and his wife Mary, who was of Scottish descent. He was educated at St. Andrew's College in Grahamstown, near Port Elizabeth but was not overly academic. After leaving school he spent three years as a management trainee for a metal firm before transferring to the parent company in London, where he earned £10 a week and lived in a bedsit just off Sloan Square. Keen to make some extra cash he joined the Territorial Army then the Parachute Regiment as a private soldier before being commissioned lives remembered into the Queen's Royal Regiment. Aged about 24 he decided to become a regular officer and passed out as top cadet from his intake. In 1962 he joined the 6th Queen Elizabeth's own Gurkha Rifles and was stationed in Borneo in Malaysia. He was promoted to Major in 1971 after a stint with the Canadian Land Forces Command and Staff College and three years later was appointed Brigade Major of the 48th Gurkha Infantry Brigade. He was commander of the British Gurkhas in Nepal when the Queen and Prince Philip visited in 1986. On leaving the army in 1991 he was asked by the Ministry of Defence whether he would be interested in taking a job at the palace. He was first appointed as Assistant Private Secretary and then promoted to Private Secretary in 1993. As well as the prestige of serving the Duke, the royal family allowed him and his family to live in Nottingham Cottage, now the marital home of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Perhaps not surprisingly the Brigadier could often be overheard saying, I'm an ordinary man. What the bloody hell am I doing here? He was knighted in 2003 for his services and upon retirement in 2010 was advanced to Knight Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order. Hunt Davis died peacefully at his home in Wiltshire and is survived by his wife Anita, daughter Joe and sons Justin and Ben. Brigadier Sir Miles Hunt Davis Private Secretary to Prince Philip born November 7, 1938, died May 23, 2018, aged 79.